November 22, 2005. This five-year-old, not spit chihuahua, has this condition we call it a bilateral alopecia now. So the black hair is involved. The white hair is actually the normal short-coated length. This five-year-old chihuahua has not been spit. And so uh, one possibility is this uh, loss of the black hair, the alopecia, bilateral alopecia, could be due to a condition called alopecia X, where only the black hair is involved. Now, what's the treatment? The cause is attributed to the hormonal imbalance, like uh, sex hormones or adrenal hormones thyroid hormones or growth hormones now as you can see this hair loss is on the flanks and uh, below there is no hair loss below there is no hair loss but on top here the head there is hair loss again you see the black hair is thin. Then now we look at this side. We look at the other side. You see the flank again. This is a black and white chihuahua. The hair loss is is prominent here on the flank. Now the the dog has a pet abscess D4 right hind. So the abscess is lance. So you can see it's being bandaged up here. Now you notice that uh, this short coat that you have, the white coat is actually okay. It's actually normal, yeah. It's really normal in length. So this condition is part of the alopecia X. Topayo. That's Singapore, November 2, 22, 2015, Sunday. The dog was given isoferrin gas only and the retained, retained uh, canine teeth, the puppy teeth, had been extracted. Yeah. And uh, there was some, uh, there was dental scaling done and there were two retained lower incisors as well and they are, they are extracted so the only advantage of uh, isoferrin gas alone is that the dog wakes up quite fast and uh, overall is safer than giving the sedation so this is most likely a condition of alopecia X. Top of your vets, Singapore.